Many of our present-day ideas concerning government, philosophy, science, and mathematics originated in the ancient Greek world. In Standard 6.2-2, we will look at some of the individual Greeks who developed these ideas. Standard 6.2.2 tells us that we should analyze the role of Alexander the Great, Socrates, Plato, Archimedes, Aristotle, and others in the creation and spread of Greek governance, literature, philosophy, the arts, math, and science. Ancient Greek society placed a high value on the development of the human mind. In this early democracy, academics and philosophers flourished. The ideas that these Greek men developed would be spread throughout the world during the reign of Alexander the Great, who supported and expanded the Greek practice of intellectual inquiry and development. Today we're going to look at a few of these men. The first one we're going to look at is here on our starting page, and his name is Socrates. Socrates was the first true Greek philosopher, and he said, one of his most famous quotes is that the unexamined life is not worth living. He believed every individual knew more than he thought he did, and it was the job of the teacher to draw out the hidden knowledge and show people that many times what they assume is actually false. Today, we use the Socratic method, and this is a method of question and answering. So, that idea that the student already knows, it's just the job of the teacher to draw out the answer, that is the basis for the Socratic method. Socrates was sentenced to death when he was 70 for corrupting young people, not believing in the city's gods, and teaching about new gods. And although Greeks later would come to regret putting Socrates to his death, he did drink poison um, and, and died. And he died following the laws of um, the democracy that he believed in so much. The next person we're going to look at is Plato, and Plato was a student of Socrates. He believed, somewhat like Socrates, that it was the teacher's job to help students recall the things that they had forgotten, so that teachers had to draw out the knowledge, but more importantly, they had to help students remember. He based his views of the world on reason. Plato was all about reason. He founded the academy where he instructed students in this pursuit of reason and logic. And he wrote The Republic, which is perhaps what he's most famous for, in which he describes his utopia and states that a just state is one where each individual fills the role for which nature intended him or her. Plato would become the tutor of Aristotle, and Aristotle and Plato differed on many ideas. Um, Aristotle believed in the importance of direct observation. So rather than reason, he really believed on observation. He was really interested in science, and he founded the Lyceum, which was a school in Athens. Aristotle would also become the private teacher of Alexander the Great. So when Alexander was six years old, his father, Philip II of Macedonia, requested that Aristotle become his private instructor. And um, so Aristotle taught Alexander the Great, and when Alexander was out conquering territories, um, much later on he would send scientific finds back to Aristotle um, to examine. All right, now we are going to look at Pythagoras. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician who thought numbers could explain the universe. He was one of the first people to see the relationship between numbers and music. 
his major contribution students still learn in school today and that is the Pythagorean theorem and that tells us how you can tell how long one side of a right triangle is if you know the length of the other two sides. So the Pythagorean theorem. Then we have Archimedes, who this is a very interesting story. Archimedes was a science and mathematician in ancient Greece. And we have this little cartoon, and this cartoon is representing Archimedes' most famous sort of discovery, and that was the king had accused a craftsman of cheating him. The king gave him a block of gold and asked him to make a crown, and the king believed that the craftsman um, used some other materials rather than all the gold he had given him. So Archimedes figured out how to compare the two and see if the craftsman had stolen some of the gold. This cartoon rep represents what is said to be his moment of clarity or his light bulb moment on the topic. He got in the bath and the bath overflowed and he realized he could put the crown in water and the gold in water and figure out um, whether the craftsman had cheated the king or not using that method. So this was Archimedes, who was a um, Greek mathematician and scientist. Finally, we will look at Hippocrates, who developed the Hippocratic Oath, which we can see here. And the Hippocratic Oath is still said by doctors today, in which they promise to do no harm to their patients. And Hippocrates was a scientist and an um, early physician in ancient Greece. So all of these men contributed to ancient Greek society. These ideas were spread throughout the Middle East and Asia by Alexander the Great and then throughout the rest of the world. And we still use all of the thoughts, inventions, and discoveries of these ancient Greeks in our lives today.